In our Help Watch report, every day about 20 military veterans in the United States die by suicide. A new program is bringing dogs and veterans together to save lives. Local 3's Shelley Bota has more. And heal. Good, and sit. Marine veteran Lyndon Malone is never without his service dog, Ice, by his side. Ice is a Siberian Husky, and he just turned eight in July. Lyndon suffered from PTSD after returning from Iraq and learning he lost six fellow soldiers to suicide. It was after that that I brought the shotgun back to my parents' house and um, went to sleep with him underneath the picnic table. Unfortunately, you know, the statistics show that 20 veterans a day are taking their own life, but that's underreported. Cheryl Krause Perello first witnessed the bond between Lyndon and Ice. It was like watching him pet his trauma away. She created CPAW, canines providing assistance to wounded warriors to study the connection between them. They can help them sleep better, get off medications that maybe they were on for insomnia, anxiety. Her team uses saliva samples from veterans to measure stress levels. People are really kind of looking at this now as an alternative non-pharmacological intervention. I spent 15 months in Iraq. Combat veteran Austin Capers was taking antidepressants before meeting his boxer, Rita. I think had I not had Rita in my life, you know, I would still be on those today. Cheryl says veterans returning to civilian life need a purpose these pets can provide, but training a service dog can cost up to $30,000. Service dogs for veterans with PTSD or invisible wounds, it's not reimbursable. She's hoping her research will change that. I probably would have made a very poor decision, and I probably would have taken my life. Ice, come! Attaboy, come on, come on, come on! Cheryl's work through CPAW is funded by donations and grants. Lyndon started his own nonprofit called Heal the Heroes, which helps veterans reconnect to society and their families through coping mechanisms and training their own pets for emotional support. For more information on both these programs or to donate, go to our website. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 3 News.